Okay, for this week, we're going to go into code.org again. Once again, it's going to be in unit two. You're going to go down to lesson three, complete lesson three headings and lesson four mini project HTML web page with that same understanding to not rush because this is going to be building on each other. And as you're going through code.org, it's going to be saving your work. And then as you move deeper into the lessons, it'll be pulling parts of your lessons from earlier lessons. So, for example, you might be in lesson 10 and it pulls a piece of lesson three. So I'm going to go ahead and go into lesson three headings and let you see what it's going to look like so you can make sure you're in the correct area. So it starts out, question of the day, how can we work together to fix problems with our websites? This lesson continues the introduction of HTML tags, this time with headings, the class practices using heading tags to create page and section files and learns how to display different heading elements as excuse me, different heading elements are displayed by default. You've got your vocab and it's showing you your new code, which we did speak about that last week. There's six levels of headings. This would be heading one and heading two. Then the other ones would be H3, H4, H5, and H6, because there are six of them all together. So after you've read this and you move forward, it's going to take you into the video. Please make sure that you watch the video because this is going to get into peer programming, which we do use some and hopefully we'll be able to use even more once we get into the classroom. But we don't have to be in the classroom to do the peer programming. It's just easier sometimes when we are face to face. So if you look here, it says two heads are better than one. This HTML code has some bugs that are making the code pink. Do the S work with your partner to fix the HTML bugs so that none of the code is pink. Together come up with one piece of debugging advice. So we will be able to work on that. Like I said, if you're inside the classroom, it's face to face. If not, we can do it in some Zoom sessions or you can work on it without necessarily having to work with a partner if that's the way things end up happening. So what you've got to do is you've got to come in and you've got to find out, okay, what is going on? Why is this pink? Well, I'm going to tell you why it's pink. It's because something is missing. And I can already see what's missing and it's what is missing is you need some additional HTML tags right there before the two. And then I'm going to let you figure out what's going on with the other part. So as you continue to go through, you finish, you finish that, you'll click finish. You should fix it on your screen. If you're working with a partner, they should fix it on their screen. You continue to go through. It's going to tell you what you need to do. Once you've done this, you click finish and excuse me, and it is recording as you're going through. And you just keep going through each place. So you notice we've got our files, our workspace and our preview, the web lab that we used in the previous lessons from last week. You just continue to go through, complete the lessons. Once you finish with lesson three, it will take you immediately into lesson four. So then you finish lesson four. And you may not necessarily see it, but I can see the work that you've done. So like if you've left off here, I can go inside of your work and check and see that that has been done. And if you stop, let's say this is where you stop on Monday and then you've got to pick it back up on Tuesday, you'll know you need to start back here because this one is no longer green. Once again, do not rush because this is building on to each week as we move forward. And that's all for this week, lesson three and lesson four. And then, of course, there's quite a bit of stuff that we're going to be doing in the classroom to get you used to the new rules um, that we have to follow based on the current situation that we're in. So I'll see some of you on Monday face to face and I'll see some of you um, through Zoom. Talk to you soon.